Okay, we are filming. Kevin, uh, tell us something about your property journey up to now. Uh, well, I'm relatively new to property, so I started at the beginning of this year, back in, um, back in February. Um, looking at a buy to sell strategy um, and um, looking for the course to help me kind of make that first leap uh, and so I've got the confidence and the knowledge to actually take that big step which for a newbie like me is, is, is sometimes quite daunting. So you don't actually have any properties over here? Not at the moment, no. So I'm actively searching for property at the moment using uh, the systems that Susanna and the course has taught me to try and source deals. What, what uh, brought you to the mentoring course? Um, mainly accountability and sort of the network. Obviously, I've been uh, I've downloaded a lot of Susanna's uh, content in the past and used that and found that very useful and how she systemizes things and, and makes it very clear and, and useful to use. Um, but I just needed it being very new to it and having potentially that fear of getting involved and, and taking that first step. I wanted a bit of accountability from people who had done it before, uh, knew what they were doing and, and sort of a bit of a, a guidance and a help to say yes you're doing the right thing and, and give me that confidence to move it forward. So you've been on a couple of sessions now? Yes, this is my second mentoring session and I've been on one of the workshops as well and uh, thoroughly enjoying it. It's a very strong group, uh, picking up lots of information from all different types of people at all different stages in their, uh, in their property investing. Any particular messages or lessons you've taken from this session this weekend? Uh, yes, um, just that uh, the buy to sell is potentially not always as easy as people think, um, but there's still big opportunity out there if you do it in the right way. And again, if you look at it and break it down, systemize it, uh, and um, you know, really work out your, your return on values and making sure you're not taking too big a risk, but at the same time, uh, still grabbing the opportunity that's out there. So have you got in your mind a plan on what you're going to do next over the next few months? Any executive action you're going to take in terms of seeking or buying properties? Yeah, I'm going to be a lot more confident in offering on more properties. I think that's something I've been lacking over the last couple of months where I've not actually been uh, confident enough to have the credibility being new, with, especially with estate agents, to actually go out and, and, and offer on more properties. Uh, at the end of the day, the more properties you offer, it's a numbers game, the more likelihood you're going to find a good deal. So I think my, my target for this month is to go out and offer on at least twice as many properties as I have the month before. Good, super. Well, I wish you well and we wish you well in the ongoing journey. Okay, thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you.